I've already shuffled, and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Libra, the recent past energy between you and your person, well, we got this Four of Swords. And it's with the Queen of Wands. Now, the Four of Swords, it's a card above the word pass. It's actually showing that there could have been a need for a break. And it can, it can be about withdrawal. Now, the withdrawal is sometimes not permanent. So, it can mean no communication. It can mean rest after struggle. Now, because this Four of Swords is clarified by the Queen of Wands, the card that's below the word pass, it's telling me that you could have been dealing with someone that you were very determined about. Because the Queen of Wands is very determined. The Queen of Wands can be egotistical, used to getting what she wants, very confident type of energy. The Queen of Wands knows her worth, so she has no problems about being very determined because the Queen of Wands figures she'll get it. And this is how you felt. You were very determined about the connection, about your person. And for some of you, it didn't work out like you thought it was, or you just had to put too much into it. But you, you, you were, um, you could have felt defeated here with this, just by looking at the Four of Swords, because it became, it, eventually it became too much for you. And you just wanted rest, renewal, for some of you, you wanted recovery. Yeah, I guess because being that determined... It drained you. That's what it looks like. It just, just maybe sucked the life out of you. And you, it probably was not, well, put it this way, it took too much of your energy. Very determined about this person. And I'm just picking up that she, you didn't get out of it what you wanted. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. So, you felt like you needed just to fall back and take a break and chill. Because that's what he's doing in the picture. Yeah, so, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. We got the Ace of Cups. And it's with the Ace of Wands. Wow, this is really, really good. You got two aces here for what's coming up. Aces are usually about brand new beginnings. And this is absolutely wonderful. So, Libra, you could have a new person coming in towards you. And with the ace of cups, the card above the word present. This is telling me this person is going to have um, a lot of warm feelings towards you and deep attraction. The both of you could have strong attraction for each other. There will be a lot of love, happiness, and affection with this Ace of Cups. So, this is a new relationship. Or, for some of you, if it's not a new relationship and it's an existing relationship or someone that you already know, it could move to a deeper level of understanding or commitment. Yeah, 
But for most of you, I'm getting this is someone new coming towards you. Because you got two new cards here. Ace of Swords. Ace, not Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. And then, then below this, it's clarified by the Ace of Wands. So, you could be meeting someone that's ready for a new relationship. It's all about new. That's what I'm getting. Something new is coming in. If it's not a new relationship, it could be some wonderful, great new opportunity. Yeah, Ace of Wands, the card below the word present, it's about new beginnings. Very positive ones. It could be related to work or career. Family or romance. And if you're having a difficult time now and you get the Ace of Wands in a reading, just know that things are about to get better very soon. Yeah, if you take a look at the Ace of Wands, it's a card below the word present. It looks like the wand is sitting above the clouds, but no. It's actually burst above the clouds. Really powerful and fast. So don't be surprised if all of a sudden you find that things have just changed for the better. Yeah, some good stuff is coming in for you, Libra. Now, yeah, and I'm, I'm picking up it's more than just one. Because these two, you got two great cards here for brand new things to, that are about to happen for you. Some of you, it's, it's with love. And for some of you, it's both love and life. And work, career. Yeah, so this is really good. So we're moving over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Now, we got this ace. Well, the challenge, we got the star card. I already talked about the ace. Yeah. The challenge, we got the star card. And... It's with the Nine of Swords. Yeah, so the Nine of Swords is showing that Nine of Swords, the card below the word challenge, is you is usually about anxiety and worry. But because it's with the star card, that cancels it out. Yeah, all of a sudden you could find yourself feeling really rejuvenated. And very hopeful about the future. More than you have in a while. More so than you have in a while. The star card, it indicates that any grief of the past, all that's released, all that's gone. There's rejuvenation. There's a lot of hope. There's faith. And you get inner clarity with the star card here. And any anxiety and worry that you had, any grief of the past that you had, it's really, yeah, you feel a burst of, it feels like things have, um, there's a rebirth happening here for a lot of you Libras. And it's going to be fabulous. Yeah, Nine of Swords is showing anxiety, but like I said, the star card cancels that out. It's indicating that if you had anxiety, it's all gone. Some type of rebirth is trying to happen for you, Libra. I hope you, I hope you remember or remind yourself to stay open to it. Yeah, something wonderful. You got some great cards here. Now, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We got this world card in the Knight of Swords. Now, the world card is about closure. It's about ending a journey, closing out a chapter. Yeah. So, this person that you were, you were very determined about, and it feels like you just had to give too much to it. And it sucked the life out of you. You wanted rest from this connection. You wanted a break from... Being so determined about it and not getting what you wanted out of the connection. It looks like you're realizing it's 
You're ready to close that chapter out. You're ready to be done and over with that. The world card is here. You're closing out that chapter. But the Knight of Swords is here. The card that's below the word outcome. Your person that you were very determined about. It could be that now that they see that you've picked yourself up off the ground. And things are going well for you. You could be seeing someone new with this Ace of Cups. They, they could be this Ace of Cups. Because we got the Knight of Swords. They're rushing back in. Knight of Swords rushes towards wanting to talk, wanting to communicate. For some of you, you're dealing with a Gemini. Uh, you're dealing with your same sign for some of you. Or you could be dealing with an Aquarius with this Knight of Swords here. They're rushing in. They could be trying to sweep you off your feet now. Now they want something. Now they're ready. They see that you've moved on and you close out a chapter with them. They see that you're feeling good and you're looking good as a star up here. Yeah, you picked yourself up. You're no longer after them. And here they come. They're rushing in. Libra, don't be surprised. If you hear from this person, yeah, they might have gotten worried that you're, you've moved on and you're doing really well. You're looking good and, yeah, you let this grief go. So that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There is also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Libra, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. I hope you come back and join me for the next Libra reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind when you get the readings, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed, meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Libra, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.